today the Titan Fitness seated leg extension leg curl came and it arrived surprisingly in really good condition. This came from the West Coast. Normally Titan Fitness products only travel a couple of states to get to me, but this one went from West Coast to East Coast and it arrived in surprisingly good condition. I haven't seen an unboxing of this product, so I don't know what it looked like in the past, but I can tell you that this looks extremely well packaged. So obviously you have a double layer of cardboard, which helps protect what's inside. And then everything inside is boxed within a box or wrapped in plastic at the very least. As I start to unbox everything, all of the roller pads are individually boxed. The seat pads are individually boxed. Everything in that box over there is wrapped in bubble wrap. So this is a heck of a packing job right here. And it looks like with this type of packaging, Titan is starting to totally redeem themselves. But I know a whole lot can happen between right now and putting this thing together. So fingers crossed that Titan continues to come through. Yesterday, the Titan Fitness seated leg extension leg curl was delivered and it arrived in perfect condition. Nothing was missing. All the parts fit together nicely and there was no damage during shipping. It only took about 30 to 45 minutes to put together and I'm extremely impressed with the quality of the machine. The bolts are better quality than some of the other Titan Fitness pieces I have. And the, the motion of the machine is very smooth and it feels effective. And one of the reasons I got this machine is because there is a difference between the seated leg curl and the prone leg curl. If I reference the hypertrophy coach, he states that the hamstrings get fully lengthened in the seated leg curl position, but the hamstrings get fully shortened in the prone leg curl position due to hip position. So I want to compare the two machines, starting with the seated leg extension leg curl. First off, the seated has a much smaller footprint at only 36 inches by 34 and a half inches. Secondly, there is greater adjustability with the seated leg extension leg curl to a certain extent. If you're extremely large, have big thighs, I don't think this machine is going to be for you because the pad that locks you into place doesn't quite go high enough. Three, I think this machine is more lower back friendly if compared to the prone leg curl, especially if you do the prone leg curl incorrectly. Four, the leg extension portion of the seated leg extension leg curl machine is much more comfortable than the leg extension on the prone leg curl because as I mentioned in my previous review of the prone leg extension leg curl, there are some metal pieces that attach the arms to the machine and they will dig into your inner thigh the back seat has a variety of different adjustments. I would encourage you to add a plate to that post, especially if you're moving a lot of weight. The lower seat has three different positions. This is the axis of rotation, and this is where you want your knee aligned when you're doing leg extensions and leg curls. This weight horn is a black powder coat and that's going to get scuffed up over time. And the rotary wheel is a lot easier to adjust than I thought it would be. Here are all of the different positions you can use when you lock yourself into the leg curl. As many have mentioned, this doesn't go high enough. If I were to cut out that piece right there with a hacksaw, I would be able to raise this higher, but this machine fits me fine, so I don't need to do that. Next, let's address this stopper piece. There have been a few people who have complained that it's hard to switch out from leg extension to leg curl if you're trying to superset, especially because of that piece right there. Some have suggested that it should be a quick release. As of right now, it's just bolted in. And I thought about trying to rig something up, for example, putting that piece in that's from a solo flex. But to me, it's just not worth it at this point in time. I don't do much supersetting and I don't find that it's all that difficult to switch in and out. But if you do have any weight on there, you will have to take the weight off. Here's the Titan Fitness Prone Seated Leg Extension Leg Curl. I did do a review on this machine a while back. Overall, it's a pretty good machine. You can see over here, those are the four handles that Titan ended up sending me over the course of probably about a month in order to try to correct the problem that I had initially. 
I probably spent two hours on the telephone with customer service trying to get this handle situation squared away, and eventually it did. So there I have the correct handles, and up here I have the correct handles. Also in the other review, I was missing this rubber stopper. Titan Fitness did not send me another one because they didn't know when they would be back in stock. So all I did was take a stall mat, cut it to size, and then took a headless bolt, drilled out the hole in the stall mat, and then put the bolt in and threaded it through the frame of the machine. And it's worked well. It's not going anywhere. And it keeps me from having that metal on metal. Next, let's cover some things on the prone leg extension leg curl. There is a larger footprint here when we compare it to the seated version. It's 30 inches by 60 inches. But it is more likely to fit someone who is bigger. Secondly, it's easier to switch between exercises. There are no settings or adjustment points. In order to switch from one exercise to the next, all you got to do is get off the machine and position your body differently. Third, this machine is more likely to be available when you're ready to make a purchase. The seated leg extension leg curl has been on back order for quite some time, but the prone leg curl leg extension seems to be available anytime I go to Titan Fitness's webpage. Next, there is a greater weight capacity on the prone. There's 300 pounds weight capacity, whereas with the seated leg extension leg curl, the weight capacity is only 220 pounds. Also, with the prone leg extension leg curl, there are fewer moving parts, fewer pieces, so there's less that could get damaged and less that requires maintenance. The leg extension portion of this machine does hurt, as I mentioned in my review for this machine. That piece will grind into your legs, so normally I'll take like a sweatshirt and wrap it around that piece when I'm doing leg extensions. And just to give you an idea of how high the seat is off of the ground, we're looking at about 34 inches for this prone leg curl seat compared to about two feet for the seated leg curl. So a valid question would be, if you had to get one, which one would I recommend? Probably the seated leg extension leg curl one, because the leg extension function is better because you don't have this piece grinding into your inner thighs. But even though I recommend this one over the prone, I'm really glad that I have both and I'm gonna keep both of them. I'm not gonna sell either one because I like variety in my training. And again, there are some differences in the way the hamstring is worked when you compare the prone leg curl to the seated leg curl. Thanks for checking out this video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Thanks everyone.